Hello, this is Spellbinder during a report on the uh, hurricane and maybe the uh, harp side of it. Just refreshed right before your eyes there. These are uh, radar backscatters. This is where every place you see these circles is a radar center in the middle. And these are showing you at this time that we're having backscatters out here in the uh, Midwest area and uh, Ohio Valley edges. Uh, these things are, well, as far as I know, I've never seen a cluster like this in a long time I've watched this. And as I move over to the west, we have a little bit of scatter right here. And it isn't very much. And it seems the major one is in Wisconsin and Michigan. Because when I go to IntelliCast, oh, I gotta move that over, you'll see two major scatters right there. Back scatters. I'm not sure. I mean, I've never witnessed a Frankenstorm, as they calling it, or a superstorm, or the perfect storm that we're experiencing from this that would cause these back scatters. But this cold front's moving in this way, moving in. You can see the line of the cold front right there. It's still trying to push in to this hurricane which extends 500 miles. It's as big as the Gulf. I mean, this thing is a huge hurricane for a Class 1. It extends massive areas. And if I can find a, another map, hang on for a second, and I'll put another map up there. Okay, you can see in this image here, this thing is as big as this down here, the Gulf, the Gulf of Mexico. It is as big as it, if not a little bigger. And it's coming in right now. It's swirling in a counterclockwise measure, so it's coming around this way. It's reaching into eastern Ohio area, down and around through central uh, Georgia hitting pieces of Tennessee and Kentucky. It's already engulfed uh, North and South Carolina. There was a lot of rain apparently coming down in the District of Criminals, I mean uh, Columbia, <laughs> Washington, and it's, it's eyes right here. This is a huge storm. This is a storm of the century. I know we haven't seen something like this in a hundred years. And we have this cold front, which you can see still another wave. This is the edge of the cold front that came through and made rain. But there's another cold front coming through. I'll show you that here in a second too. Hang on. Okay, and here's the hurricane. This is the cold front coming up against it. And as you can see, this high pressure is going to keep pumping cold air down because it runs in a clockwise direction. This is moving still north. This doesn't seem to be pushing anywhere. It seems to have stalled. Right here is a stall. Or it shows a back warm front. is a stall. And this has not pushed this anywhere. So the hurricane's still on course to come up here and cut over into central Pennsylvania. Actually will come up about where the top of DC is and cut across. I said uh, probably d Dutch sense would make better sense of these other phenomena, these backscatters as I call them because that's what they are. I mean they're this, they're backscatters uh, radar and they're all over the place except they're not affecting any of the radars in this area which is weird there's one in Dayton it's not affecting it but there's all these backscatter radar 
reflections going on to the west and this is the uh, projectory of it this is where it supposedly is right now this is where it's affecting right now and this is the impact area right now of around the rain and whatever is coming down with it like I said they were saying it's going to go to a to a class 2 hurricane and stay that way until here it will be a class 1 once it hits land and it will be a tropical storm once it hits central Pennsylvania just wanted to report that just trying to give everyone a heads up of what this strangeness is going on with something of this size I mean, this is something I've never seen and probably most people I've never seen either a super storm coming in um, storm of the century even I mean it could it could it could give uh, Maine several feet of snow up here in, in Maine it doesn't show that on the trajectory except on the very western side of it but it could get pretty bad once it gets up here and it's hitting the cold air up here in Canada and Montreal and Ottawa could very well lose most of its power again and it's not solar flare this time storm uh, but I'm guaranteeing that along Philadelphia and New Jersey and places here they're going to lose all their power along here I haven't seen any article saying if the power is totally out in this area down here in North Carolina along the coast and and part of South Carolina well until next time this is Spellbinder saying be prepared be ready hope you got your storage up if you live along the East Coast and are ready for this because you never know how this storm's going to turn out if it's being controlled and manipulated I mean this is like I said I've never seen this many scatters on on the country before from radar sites and this is just bizarre it's like is it fog I mean I don't even know I mean normally this is like fog and stuff if it's here but I'm not sure I'm not really sure on this I mean it's really bad around Arkansas it's got a big one down here there's a big one up here in West near Wisconsin Idaho area Wisconsin up here in Green Bay like I said I can go to the current thing and it shows this weather pattern here I don't think I can go back the way I was before I can try and I can go well no it's not gonna let me do that and go back one more huh fighting with me like usual fights there it comes back and if you put this in motion which I gotta bring it up uh, oh all I do is hit this here puts it in motion again and you'll see the two backscatters Michigan and Wisconsin it's just strange. I don't know. Maybe it's nothing. Until next time. Be good. Be prepared. Be ready. Good day.